Hey everybody, welcome to Enliven Wellness. My name is Tessa Gurley and I am an integrative medicine practitioner in training here to tell you about the vagus nerve in relation to chronic inflammatory response syndrome, mold and Lyme and other chronic diseases that you might be suffering from and that I was also diagnosed with most likely, but I'm now feeling amazing. So, all right, firstly, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please hit subscribe and also tap that bell button so that you are notified whenever I go live. Also, I offer 30 minute free consultations if you're interested in working together one-on-one. -on -one, so please reach out and say, I'm ready at tgirly7 at gmail.com. Check out my website and liven-wellness.com as well. So let's hop to it. What is the vagus nerve? Coolest nerve in the body, as I like to say. And vagus nerve is the nerve that, it's a cranial nerve. And it, that basically means that it just comes right out of your brain and it goes all the way down your chin, your jaw, right? And then it goes all the way down your throat. And then it does what's called innervate, which means it touches, AKA it like puts little, it's little nerve tentacles into your heart, your diaphragm, your large intestine, your small intestine, your gallbladder, your liver, your, um, it's, it's, it, it's amazing everything that this, nerve effects. And so when you have what's called poor vagal tone, and you've probably seen this in some of my videos, when you have what's called poor vagal tone, you cannot be in the rest and digest, AKA the parasympathetic nervous system state as easily as you would if you had good vagal tone. Now you can check out my other videos on my channel. I'll link them up above about like what, you know, you can tell like the top three symptoms of vagus nerve dysfunction. And then you can also learn what, uh, sorry, my dishwashing, my dishwasher's lid just like totally just fell open. That's very interesting. Um, anyway, you can check out my other videos for more information on the vagus nerve. But for now, know that your vagus nerve affects pretty much every organ in your body. It's amazing everything that it affects. Now, and again, if you have poor vagal tone, then you can have things at, you know, broad ranging. You can have heart palpitations. You can have gallbladder dysfunction. You can have liver problems. You can have poor B12 absorption. You can have hiatal hernia problems. You can have shortness of breath. You can have bad, slow stomach acid. All of this can be linked back. And of course, you can have chronic anxiety and depression. This can all be linked back to vagus nerve problems. But now, how does this relate to SIRS? I'm going to talk about two ways that this relates to chronic inflammatory response syndrome and Lyme, you know, well, Lyme is, you know, Lyme and mold you, or biotoxin illness, whatever you want to call it. All of these things can be affected and the vagus nerve can affect all of those conditions. So it's like a hand in hand thing. So number one, digestive. You can have digestive issues like leaky gut, low stomach acid, constipation, diarrhea. Now, of course, those things can be caused by other issues like hormonal issues. Like for example, leaky gut can be caused by low melanocyte stimulating hormone, which is depleted when you have SIRS or when you're exposed to mold and you have Lyme. Um, so there can be those reasons as well, but the vagus nerve can also be what's what the problem is here. That could be one of the underlying issues to some of your digestive problems. Now, this can also be related to, oh, let me explain how. So when you have poor vagal tone and you have low stomach acid, you will not be absorbing B12 and you can have, that can lead to parasites and candida and other bacterial overgrowths, SIBO, anyone, anyone? So when you have poor vagal tone, your vagus nerve is not able to correctly modulate and optimize that function in your body and you'll have digestive issues. So think of this also when you are trying to heal your digestion from these chronic conditions. Okay. Now, number two would be immunity. Did you know that immune system issues are also related to poor vagal tone? Very interesting. So, you can have a, so much, 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 much of your immune system is located where? In your gut. So if you have a bad gut, your immune system is also going to be depleted. And if you have poor vagal tone, 
your immune system's going to be depleted. And if you have poor vagal tone, you're gonna have poor digestion. Do you see how everything's popping together? Very interesting, right? And then when you increase vagal tone, you have better functioning immune system and you have better functioning digestion. So when you have a good, happy vagus nerve, then you also will have a better chance at having happier and better optimized digestion, and you will have a better functioning immune system, which is one of the biggest problems in these conditions is your immune system. So it's an immune system dysfunction as well, mainly. And that like all of these, all of these chronic conditions can be related to immune system problems. So if you can increase your vagal tone, you will happily and also increase your immune function. And these are just two reasons why the vagus nerve and chronic inflammatory response syndrome and Lyme and mold go hand in hand like this and why you should pay attention to your vagus nerve. And I will be putting out more videos on how you can stimulate your vagus nerve on your own because they are, it's like, it's like my favorite nerve in the body and I work with it all the time with my clients. So if you'd like to learn more, please reach out and say I'm ready and we will talk more about the vagus nerve and make sure you join me live. I stream live every night at 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time and join our family. And I love the Enliven family. You all are the best. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. And have a wonderful evening or day or whenever you watch this. Catch you soon. Remember that vagus nerve. What happens in Vegas goes everywhere. Got it?